my chair, you'll know what happened. Oh my, where are you, Barbara? I'm in near San Francisco. Oh my God. In Walnut Creek. Oh yes, Walnut Creek, uh, yeah, lovely we area. We also have a visitor from, uh, 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 we take her uh, uh, dog from uh, Amy, our daughter. So um, maybe there will be noise. I wish you My off. cat is hiding too, Henry. Okay. It's very uh, unusual. She's <clears throat> under the chair. I, I think, uh, you know, I probably have to mute when I'm not talking, you know, something like that. So you're not okay. the dog. Let me, let me make a recording before I forgot. Okay. And Henry, I do have... Okay. Yeah, go ahead, oh. Lisa. Um, yes. In 2016, Pangong Kai came, uh, it was in San Diego, and he oh, put yeah. together show yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, he I went through the art. yeah oh you yeah. did okay yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i did a, a video uh i did a sketch uh of uh Pangon kai's work but uh i don't think uh, his father's work are this uh are there just uh oh. son yeah Pangong no kai. it wasn't his father yeah yeah i don't i don't think he his uh, painting is as good I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good. I, I wanted to ask you that. <laughs> um, I don't think I don't think so. But he is a very good uh, scholar and uh, teacher, also. So he, yeah. I, I read uh, uh, a article uh, about his father. He he described uh, his uh, personality very well, understood mm -hmm. uh, art very well. Uh, but uh, Pan Pan so is so unique, just like yeah. about none of his. Uh, Offsprings could match, and Qi Bai Shi. I think Qi Bai Shi's offsprings are uh, many of the third generation or fourth generation artists. They just copy, but they're not as good as uh, Ping's mother. They, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, so it's not uh, inheritable. The Qi, the uh -huh. qi is not by birth. <laughs> so you have right. to study yourself, yeah, and uh, try to cultivate that through. Um, your own pursuit, it's not uh, inheritable. Um, okay. Yeah, anyway, um, I, I'm going to um, start with an uh, uh, introduction. Uh, you probably you have uh, read the article I sent uh, and uh, I extract from a magazine uh, on his life. Um, personally, um, he is one of the uh, most uh, uh, most intensive uh, uh, resource I've, you know, I studied. Uh, I had these books with me all the time from my college years. And I remembered I did a presentation, my first freshman presentation in my class in history department was to um, talk about uh, Chinese uh, brush painting. And I uh, prepared the the speech based on his, uh, lecture notes or random notes. Yeah. Um, so he talks, he talked about uh, everything um, uh, about uh, detail, uh, you know, like uh, how to do finger painting. Half of this book is about finger painting. I just realized that. Wow. Uh, so he's a big uh, finger, finger painter. And uh, he's many uh, a very um, important uh, educator in our in contemporary Chinese uh, um, art ac academy. So he, the system he developed uh, to teach the uh, uh, art student in college um, is, uh, is very um, widely uh, adopted in, in our teaching uh, books and materials. Uh, maybe I can show you some, oh, here. Actually, I have this book. Yeah, this book is about uh, 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 birds and the, uh, and the flower painting, but in large part, it's based on his, uh, you know, uh, concept of uh, uh, the opposite uh, um, pairs, you know, of uh, um, like a qi and a shi, you know, uh, uh, black and white, that kind of thing. So we're not, we don't have time to talk all about uh, his um, composition 
principles, but I'll, I'll, I'll touch upon some. So um, while we, um, before we, we do painting, so we understand um, at a, a higher um, level, the Chinese uh, painting, you know, that the, the fundamentals, fundamental structures of Chinese painting. Um, I, I think uh, uh, some of you have studied in Hangzhou. So I, I, I have a picture here, as you see on my, uh, uh, that's, on my lower corner, let me enlarge that. And then we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll uh, show you some pictures. And uh, Barbara, if you like, you can unmute yourself and then you can give some comments because uh, you, uh, in email you wrote to me saying um, you have spent four and a half years in this area, the Chinese uh, Art Academy in Hangzhou. Uh, this is the gate, I think, it, uh, or the gallery, I forgot. Um, and the lady behind me is uh, Lisha. She's a visitor. She actually spent uh, three years, I think, in China teaching English while studying art. And then we kept, uh, she was part of the online class, if you, if you could, uh, if you followed her. Um, so we, we had a trip, a one day trip uh, from early morning to, to uh, until uh, uh, close I think, in, in the area and visit several museums, academic uh, galleries, etc. So um, if you got, Barbara, if you want to, you can comment on food. Let me show you what do we had that, that, uh, that uh, noon lunch at lunch. Hey, I, I can't. Go further. Let me see. Um, okay, let me. I have trouble to reach the window. Okay, here. Okay, this is Dongpo Row. If you if you know recognize that, it's not really. Actually, it's a it's a daikon, <laughs> because she was a vegetarian. We couldn't eat any. Um, meat or, or uh, you know, animal uh, foods, only, only uh, vegetarian food. So the, uh, the pepper chili is very famous. They're called it Hangzhou chili. I think we can get here uh, in Korean market, very similar to Korean chilies. They're very thin, but not so hot, very delicious. Yeah, it's just like, like this, right? <laughs> Make me hungry <laughs> already. That's the daikon, I think. Oops. Um, something pop up the weather warning. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this. Maybe uh, some kind of dessert. No, um, actually. Hmm. But they are all vegetarian. Like uh, there's, uh, some a fu pi juan. Fu pi juan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, fu pi juan. Right. It, thank you. It could be uh, some, I was thinking some lotus root, but that's the color, but not the texture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, food. It's, a, it's the tofu skin, we call it. Anyway, that's the entrance of uh, Pan Tian Su Ji uh, Guan, the Memorial Museum of, uh, in his, you know, his uh, uh, residence museum. museum. Um, and this is the, uh, living room, I think, and he had a, a huge desk, you can see, um, and think that's uh, original, and you can see his brushes, and since the, the uh, saucers, and there's a picture of him, and the, yeah, this picture was hanging on the wall in the studio. Uh, this landscape, I think, is very famous. Um, um, you can see the very distinctive style. He used uh, no moss dots, very few wrinkled uh, texture. Primarily, it's a, a, a contour joint um, painting. But he used his finger to draw these contours. They are very uh, not calligraphic. We we talked about uh, Wu Chang Shuo, right? He was a student of Wu Chang Shuo, so his line is derived from the calligraphy or the uh, Jing, you know the uh, bronze script or the, the stone inscriptions carved uh, on stone. 
So uh, this is another painting. It's a simple kind of landscape uh, colored, um, very different, you know, his style is so powerful, simple and uh, powerful. That's, uh, that's a part of that previous one. That's an East shot. Okay, I saw this picture everywhere actually online these days. Uh, he's working on a large painting. You can see he's right in the middle. So behind he, you can see a giant rock and a giant pine tree. Um, <clears throat> he's very, very good at uh, um, oversized painting, just like Fubashi for decoration of a house and a hotel uh, lobbies, something like that. Um, is this him? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. This is Nico. Yeah. Um, some paintings are not so big, though. Like uh, this uh, scroll. That's a close-up view of that. And we just did this thing by Qi Bai Shi early uh, uh, last class. If you recall, this same scene, right? Old house with the fans. Uh, here's the Fan Yuan Show, and he's a person to. Uh, artists who integrate um, the field of uh, birds and flowers. Like exam for example, the bamboo is painted like a uh, birds and flower uh, painting um, and the landscape. So his uh, flower and birds has a landscape uh, uh, background uh, or depths. And the landscape has a uh, flower and birds foregrounds. Um, so very different. Okay, it's a giant desk again. Oh, these brushes. I see some, uh, lots of soft brush, short hair, or some, um, where, yeah, the uh, very th uh, thick, uh, large ones, it's called large painting. He also used his fingers, and that's his best uh, tools. The reason he, he used fingers is because you think the, uh, brush can um, can do best strokes, but not uh, the best uh, vehicle for ideas. Um, Why the finger is uh, very close to your mind or heart, uh, but uh, hard to uh, do the strokes. So um, he tried to learn the benefit. I mean, the advantage of a uh, brush painting by using his fingers, so he will realize, and vice versa. So he borrowed the concept of finger, finger painting and uh, when, when he used a brush. Uh, but when he do brush, he, I mean, he, when he used a finger, he tried to uh, avoid the uh, rough and the uh, drafty, you know, look, I feel. So try to make it really delicate. This giant vine, Creeper or wisteria, could it be wisteria outside the, the place? And some uh, koi fish. This uh, painting picture. It's, uh, yeah, he used a uh, tip concealed or centered stroke here. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a detailed view of uh, some uh, a landscape painting. You can see how classical. You have to be. Uh, so he said, you have. You must be good at brush painting. Then you can do good uh, with uh, with uh, finger painting. I think this could be done by finger. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, this is brush. It's brush. Yeah. But he can do a large, uh, huge finger painting. The um, plum with the moon. We'll, we'll see. It's done with uh, fingers. This is a pure ink painting without uh, diluting, just you know, dry and wet, but pure ink. We call it jiao mo. Uh, jiao means a uh, uh, dry brush, dry. Yeah. Okay. And his uh, calligraphy is just part, a very important part of the uh, composition. Yeah, I see a sunset with this kind of tree. Uh, the day before yesterday, 
uh, in a, above a hill here. And it reminded me of that scene. So the, the tree is really... So his composition is uh, it's not copying, um, but uh, his own, you know, I will talk about uh, his way of uh, composing the trees and the other things. And you can see the, the pavilion. Uh, notice the, there's no parallel parallel uh, lines, even though the, the four uh, poles are, you know, are supposed to be straight, but in painting, you it would be more interesting to make it uh, uh, meaning or you know, moving, <laughs> just to, to create a gesture. And uh, here is another flower and birds or landscape uh, mixed uh, at a corner corner landscape, yeah. Because he lived in the city of Hangzhou, if you recall, that's the capital of the Southern Song Dynasty, where uh, Ma Yuan Xia Gui created the corner landscape. His he, kind of corner, corner uh, scenery here. So his rock, but you know, his, his uh, masters uh, is very rhythmic, if he use uh, that, and as if the, there's a, uh, there's, it could be you know a, a line uh, a direction, but uh, not in a straight line. Though. It's uh, um, has dance and the sparse and rhythm. Or notice the distance between dots or lines. Okay, um, here's an interesting observation. Um, if you look at uh, very closely, this original and it's published on, on many books, but they edited the photo, so you won't see this. So he actually um, moved this inscription up about two inch from the original. Uh, after he wrote it, and he may feel you know it's too low, so he, he uh, asked the mounting master maybe uh, to to raise that up. So you can see the difference, the, the cutting mark here. So it's kind of uh, altered. Uh, it's very unusual, but uh, he, he's more uh, concerned with the composition, the integral, you know, as part of the inscription as part of the composition, not to uh, worry about this, uh, this cutting line, this square. This, yeah. So this is very unusual. You can see that. Yeah, this is the difficult part when you paint eagles. This, uh, his, this, this is done with a finger, I believe. So he used his uh, index finger, both the um, partially the nail, which created the, the sharp lines, and also the, the uh, fresh part that create uh, soft rounded lines. On large area, in large areas, he will use uh, three, three fingers or even palm to paint the the washes. He used small finger to draw this, this kind of details. This is very, not very good focus. Uh, this is a small painting, but uh, you don't feel small uh, because he, he didn't uh, treat the rock as a, a solid mass. And uh, uh, he, he break the, uh, the edges like uh, this corner and that side to uh, lead the viewer imagination to uh, painting outside the painting, the scenery outside the frame. And so he said, the small painting should be composed uh, as big painting, and the big painting should have more detail, like a small painting or something like that. Um, okay. This is a, a good example of a, a contrast between uh, shi and the xu. So the pot is uh, uh, washed with a light color, um, only you know out, outlined. Um, it's a very, it was interesting. This broken. Uh, that's why you know when 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 Victoria broke any pot, sometimes we got uh, animals to. You know, to um, break them, and I always keep them. I I, I use glue to glue it back, so you look like this. 
I think it's more <laughs> artistic. Um, so um, yeah, it's contrast between the, the solid and the uh, soft and the Xu and the Shi is a very important concept. We'll talk about that later. Okay. This, uh, I don't know if it's a finger painting also. I, in large part of this painting is a finger painting. This is a lotus, it's almost outside the frame, but uh, uh, so small painting don't feel small. So this is very different than still life of botanic painting. So you have everything in the middle of the frame. This, this is just a corner, yeah. So he, he treats the center usually um, very empty and full, uh, more full, fuller in, in, in the corner or the uh, outside the frame, uh, you know, the, the edges, yeah. near the edge or something. Okay, here's the detail of that stroke and flowers. Uh, this cat, we're going to do a cat, I, I hope, as I really <coughs> love his cat, very characteristic. And this is uh, similar to Bala Shanren's painting. Um, you yeah, see another uh, sample of a landscape with a moon and uh, a close, uh, um, a banana tree, a palm or something. <clears throat> okay. So black, gray, and the light, white, yeah. I think it's on mulberry paper. Oh, it says uh, finger painting. So all his good work are done by finger, including this one. And this picture, usually I, I ask Lisa or myself to stand by. So you can see the actual uh, proportion with, you know, uh, uh, the, the scale uh, with the person. And so it's, it's a huge size, like, you know, I'm standing with uh, this painting. So um, very, very large scale uh, painting. This is the very last finger painting he did, just uh, before the Cultural Revolution, I think, in 1965. And uh, uh, he was uh, then criticized or persecuted uh, for several years and died in early 70s, 71, I think. And if you read the, the life uh, account article, you, you will see that. Um, so let's see if there's any more. Yeah, in this exhibition, it's very interesting that uh, they give a very, um, very deep description of the theme, the, the background, and also the uh, compositional um, sketch like, uh, like this. And it, it appears in many books. Um, I didn't give you this example, but uh, I think this is about negative space shape, next negative shapes division of next negative shapes. Um, yeah. That's, uh, okay. oh, about this painting, yeah, and the uh, side. His line quality is, uh, uh, this is again by finger painting. So if we use the brush, can we re achieve that? You know, if you, your mind has that uh, uh, concept, you want to vary the, not just draw a straight line. The line should not parallel to the, to the side lines of the, the paper and should not parallel to each other. Just if you follow these two guidelines, you should do that. And plus, you should vary the distance and angle of each line when they cro cross, right? So that's uh, no matter what uh, the representing, it could be uh, fans or trees, you know, like uh, or Sam's. Uh, this is the 
plan doesn't, yeah, the detail of that last uh, finger painting. So this is uh, um, kind of pessimistic, but still has some some uh, hope. <laughs> I think that's uh, the feeling. Okay, so he does a lot of this kind of rock uh, as a major part of the composition, and uh, this is told he did um, this uh, thing repeatedly, like uh, the cat also. Um, so his uh, composition is uh, uh, diagonal. I will talk about that later. But you had uh, to create uh, uh, the kind of uh, uh, momentum and balanced with uh, uh, other plants or animals. And, yeah. Uh, here uh, we talk about the she and the she again. If if you paint the rock with a uh, solid color like a gray, you will see something like that. But he does it uh, light uh, with heavy contour, with no um, color inside, so it, you don't feel the uh, fullness. It's uh, and the the ink is around the rock. Okay, see that that's his style. I think it's very useful uh, because I, I, I referred to his painting when I uh, give guide to the hosting person of the, the library uh, at the Brooklyn Library, uh, Yong Le. Right? She, she was doing a, a scenery from her memory, a childhood memory. Uh, I saw a picture of a giant rock where uh, she was uh, played, uh, she, she played as a playground with uh, other kids. But they, she, she, she painted uh, like oil, uh, like uh, watercolors with a uh, very too solid. Like, so I suggest that uh, no no wrinkles inside, just a uh, very light wash. So just use uh, this concept. It works really well. And uh, you can see the, the movement, the qi movement are shi, uh, qi shi that we talk about. So the movement of the, the rock is like falling to the left and then the, uh, but the, the corner, we, we have uh, uh, some grass to hold it, uh, to stop that uh, tendency. And on the, on the top, on the, on the upper corner, we have the, the uh, bamboo to weight it, you know, just like a steel yard. Uh, uh, you put weight on the, on the other side to weight it. Um, yeah, to, in, in balance. Okay. So this this artist uh, has uh, this is a, another chi uh, drawing. Um, the starting of uh, the entrance and then develop uh, turning and ending. So there are four phases: uh, starting, uh, developing, and turning, finishing. It's like a writing an essay, you have opening statement, which should be not too long, uh, very brief, but very suggestive. If you have two lines, indicate that it, or if it's three, you have know, three, something like that. Just like a writing uh, essay. Uh, I try to, to show the how tall this this painting is. This is another typical example used on all the books about uh, this kind of uh, diagonal composition. Yeah, and here's a close up. Um, notice the uh, two. There are two elements in the, in the composition. Uh, one is linear or lines. The other is uh, um, the shapes. So we have three um, blocks of uh, le le leaves uh, or ink, ink shape. It's a, a big uh, one on the lower right and a, 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 a triangular shape, uh, a medium size, I will say, because we have small next to the large. So large, small, medium, three elements. This, this corner has some dots, I consider that. So you place small next to the large to create that kind of a uh, contrast. Yeah. And then balanced with the medium on top. And the direction of the 
leaves and the petals pointing to the direction of the, the finish. So there, the qi connects uh, even with the uh, um, breaks of the stroke, with no uh, absence of stroke. Yeah. So, you know, the qi continues if you change, uh, you reload the brush or change brush. And you, so the brush, uh, the, the whole uh, process should be a continuous movement uh, in your mind. Yeah. Okay, one short, one long. When you do two lines and vary the angle so they don't, um, when we talk about uh, dense and sparse, he said it doesn't have to cross. If you have the tendency to cross, um, that that creates the dance, the sense of dance. Yeah. So this kind of concept, dance and uh, sparse, is what we we need to uh, talk about, and. Uh, Solid and void, like a rock. If you if you treat it uh, as a solid part, it will be too um, full, right? On top of that, and the, and the he the way he does it, if, if you look at, is no no in, uh, in inner texture or wash. Just uh, I will do the painting like this today, and look at the detail of his lines. Uh, this, this was done by brush. You can see that lifting uh, and some breakage, um, but you know, lost and found, you might say. Staccato kind of, not staccato in his case, but uh, uh, the, the variation of uh, um, movement. Um, the brush, you know, goes not just a simple a straight line. You can go back and forth sometimes. But he does this uh, uh, web of a spider, very um, straight, yeah, the spider web. Okay, some grass. Yeah, he used just a daily, you know, scenery like uh, grass, wild, wild grass, dandelion, dandelion, um, uh, you know, like uh, wild flowers. He, he is he, he's very good at wild flowers. I, I love this uh, birds uh, on top of the rock. I did uh, just the bird on uh, t-shirts when I paint t-shirts, yeah. And people love that. Just uh, with six of, uh, I mean, seven or five. Uh, these are not crows. I think there's a uh, name I forgot. Bagu, uh, it's, uh, it, they, they speak, um, they, they mimic a human or a voice, you know. Repeat to you, I mean, it's a good pet. Um, I think this is a eco or something. Oh, that's uh, the whole exhibition, probably. Um, okay, yeah, here's uh, uh, landscape composition talks about uh, the qi movement. Um, I really, oh, I see. So the, the water goes down. The trees. <coughs> I, uh, I think it's a little complicated with that one, but uh, you can see the, the exhibition has a lot of uh, information to, to digest even today. Um, so I gave you uh, many. OK, this is a good example I probably uh, would draw first. Uh, this painting. It's called the pine uh, with the rock, with, with the rock, pine and the rock. We have done this uh, earlier with Zhang Mengfu, right? The literary painter in the Yuan Dynasty. Uh, he, he does uh, what he does is the uh, see this painting is simple and huge. It's, it's not a small painting at all. Uh, he, it's only one tree and a rock. He created this uh, uh, balance so perfectly. You look at the uh, diagonal tree almost like falling, but then it's uh, pulled to the left um, with this branch turning to the, le to the left. And also this little one on top pointing to the um, this inscription. Inscription reads from uh, 
right to left and end with the seal. So that creates a pouring, pouring back force to the left also. And uh, so on the left side, this tree is only uh, did in half of the tree, but uh, it, it, it has a clear uh, uh, angle towards the left, suggesting there's a jungle there. And this root uh, is turned slightly to the right first, just like Tai Chi gives a, a balanced foot. Uh, and the, the root is like a claw of an eagle uh, clean on the, on the rock. And, uh, so it holds it, holds it. So this also uh, notice the uh, the pine um, lean against the right side of the frame, which provides the support also. So it it, it supports um, the weight. Yeah. Look at the the, the line quality. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this. Definitely. And we don't have to do this little, little leaves, these vines. Uh, we just want to, to study the, the movement, uh, and, you know, the di diagonal composition with this one. Um, okay. That's the whole exhibition. I realize. So I have to go fast. I already found what I need. I showed you what I need, you know, in, in, the, in the context of the exhibition hall. That's, we could spend days there. I mean, you know, we only have like a couple hours. Uh, this, this huge painting is also done with a finger, I think probably. This is a, a, a stream after rain, and you can see uh, the water running behind the, the rocks and the uh, exit there, so it's very, it's huge, yeah. And this is the detail of that. Is that finger painting? Probably not. I was wrong. Yeah, you see some uh, details here, like uh, the bamboo leaves is outlined, uh, almost like gombi, semi gombi style, uh, outline style, fine line style. And uh, here's the water source. So his, uh, his response uh, to the challenge of uh, Western art, realistic uh, style, classical Western art, is to, um, <clears throat> to you know, not to learn, um, but to keep the uniqueness of Chinese painting. So he, he, he is on the other side of Xu Bei Hong or others, um, and like, a, um, like the other principles we talked about. School. He, he was a principal of a, uh, art school. He, he was a teacher all, most of his time from his late 20s, I think, or early 20s. Yeah. He, he is author of uh, several books on Chinese art and wrote uh, lots of uh, series. And, uh, um, but his theory is to, to be, um, we, today we, we still talk about uh, globalization, right? We think globalization is to, to be more uh, nationalist, national, like, nationalistic or uh, how do you say this, uh, different, you know, the, each, each um, culture should remain its uh, identity and uh, that's modernity, I think. And his, his, that's why he, he got so, um, he got more and more um, noticed, I mean, uh, studied because he's very pure uh, Chinese, uh, but uh, he had this the same level as, uh, uh, you know, in terms of uh, uh, fundamentals, he, he tried to, uh, to give a set of uh, concept in verse, you know, we, we have two, two systems in, in, in art teaching, I think. One is uh, perspective, light, uh, shading, uh, you know, this kind of uh, um, scientific approach. But he insists on 
the concept of yin and yang or something like that. Xu and the shi or you know how to make a, make it to, to express your feelings. Uh, so but today uh, more and more artists realize that we, we, we have two sides of brain. So they are not really conflicting, they should help each other. So um, why you do you know, perspectives or um, light, you also think about yin and yang and uh, um, uh, four and the empty. So you can, you, you can say that uh, aerial perspective or atmospheric perspective that has to do with mist or clouds is the same as the Chinese landscape we, we talk about, you know, that. Um, so it could be, could be, um, you know, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, I, I personally, I, I do both. I think um, you don't have to pick the sides, yeah. But he clearly, so he, he's a painter, some, some scholar says, you know, there are three kind of painters. They think there are some who work for, uh, for living, like Xi Bai Shi, like com more commercial kind of, um, or who uh, paint for themselves, like many literati painters in the past. And Pan Tian Shou is the person who work uh, from the, his vision, uh, his uh, mission <laughs> and vision, yeah. He tried to, to rebuild the Chinese tradition and keep it alive, reinterpret it by re reinterpret it in competition with uh, or in response to mo modern uh, art, I think, to modernize it. Maybe. So he's a very uh, important uh, uh, theorist and uh, teacher. And, okay, here here's the. Uh, a new picture I got from my brother. Um, I just want to show, share with you that the thing, the thing we saw in his painting actually uh, <laughs> exists in real life. So he must have um, observed something like this. You know, when he did the, the uh, napping cat on the rock, um, someone next to him asked if that rock would, would be too cold for the cat to sleep on. And he said, this is summer, so uh, see, I, uh, spring, he said. So he added the dandelion flower on the corner. And here, you know, you can do it lotus, so it would be summer. Um, so this is the, the natural. Uh, the picture would never be good, you know, but it should be inspiring. And we'll see how Pan Tian Su does this, you know, in our uh, next session, okay. Uh, I will just paint it uh, uh, while we talk about it. From now, what do you think? Any comments? So, how does the cat went to the middle of the water, the rock, right? The lotus are in the water. Yeah, I think it is, this rock is like a little a peninsula. It's not a, a island. <laughs> it's connected to the bank of the pond. I think. Thank you. Um, yeah, you, you, you never copy <coughs> the picture, picture directly. And then we'll see what the peninsula that did with the catch on rock. Here. Um, this one was sold. Uh, there are three versions of, of this. Did, did you see the question? I, uh, I, I put two together and ask you which one is uh, more chi or uh, you know has stronger chi something like that. Can you tell the difference? Let me see. I oh. can tell which one I like better. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can. You can. Let I, me I like that the... uh, that uh, handout so we can see. Yeah. Let me see this. Let, let, let's look at that. Okay. Um, this is the handout. Let me see. Okay, let me go through this. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll skip this part. Uh, maybe we should uh, just go briefly. So uh, in landscape, we also have start, develop, uh, turning, and ending, uh, four phases, uh, just like uh, a 
have to do a branch. You have a starting and turning, uh, I mean, developing and turning and ending. Um, it, it, it's, it's not necessary that you paint from the start, but uh, I think in this case, it, it was starting from the front, yeah. This um, pagoda is a, is a focal point, but it's uh, different than the four grounds or four, uh, not four grounds, four uh, developments or elements. So we talked about that earlier. So let's look at this too. Um, okay, on the left is a, um, I, I don't think I have conclusion on which one is uh, authenticity. It doesn't matter, you know. But for me, uh, I think it's pretty <laughs> weak. Um, it, you know, I personally, I think uh, it's possible uh, one of his draft, you know. Um, it, so even the master could do something, you know, very, uh, not a masterpiece compared to his best. So even Xu Bei Hong, uh, he, he does the best the horses. I have seen something from his uh, garbage can. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because there was a photographer or videograph, videographer, what do you call it? Not video, film photographer, who did the film. And after that, he asked Xu Bei Hong to give him some uh, painting. He just uh, grabbed some from his uh, throw away, you know, paintings. So I saw three of the, those. Um, so the level of those painting, you know, we all know that it, it could be different, but still, I think, um, yeah, we, we don't, don't worry about the uh, authenticity here, but on the, on the right, I think it's, it's 90%, uh, you know, um, confidence, I will say that this is, uh, uh real. So that's most of the, um, Connoisseurs or collectors think mm -hmm. this. Uh, this was auctioned uh, mm -hmm. and bought by famous uh, Chinese entrepreneur Ma Yun. You know, for I don't know, Sanjian Chibai Wan, something like that. It could be four million or five million. I don't know. I didn't count. Um, yes, yeah, um, it's, it's a it's a very expensive uh, investment because he has a company called the Tian Mao, right? Um, it's a it's an auction site like eBay. Have any cat? So probably his logo or something. So anyway, um, so this is a, in his position, not the the uh, entrepreneur's position. Um, so in, in this painting, I see uh, many things we talked about, and this is a finger painting. Finger painting. Oh. Where do you think he started? I, I, I already, yeah. I think he started at the bottom. <laughs> yeah. With the yeah, I think according to the story I read, that flower, I mean, at least the first time he did it, you know, before someone's uh, uh, tendency, um, it was done after everything was done. So I don't think the flower comes first. Okay. That's a finishing touch, and uh -huh. as well as that, uh, you know, signature goes. And there's signature, uh, I think there's third version, which is probably uh, authentic, because it was in the collection of National Museum. Um, let me show you that one. That one is much compar uh, comparable to the, the same standard as this uh, newly uh, auctioned one. And actually the auction, the piece was, uh, um, was uh, uh, acquired by a magazine editor who published the magazine for him in the early uh, 60s, I think. And this was the cover page of that uh, uh, leaflet, uh, what do you call this, uh, this little uh, book. So he uh, probably collected it or received as gift or whatever. So this is a very believable story because his, uh, his uh, family released it. So that, that's, and the, the other one was a collection of uh, national, uh, let's see, I tried to find that here. Okay, I found it. 
it's not a high resolution one. Though. Can you see? Uh, yeah, yeah. This is this is a, the. It's a better version of that left one with long inscription on top, instead of on the side. But the cat is uh, almost the same. The major difference is the cat, and this uh, this cat was kept low profile in both uh, good versions. You see that? Yeah. It's uh, it's uh, aligned with the top line uh, of the the rock versus the the left one. The cat is just a cat. It uh, is more realistic somehow. It's more like a student work. You want to you you want to learn from the master. That's the reason you you if you ever you do don't copy from a, a copy. <laughs> you have to you know study it right from the. And if you could find all the variations, that's what I usually do. So you 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 know uh, what's the best. You can collect all the best part. And this too is about the same. I think almost identical. That's amazing. Wow. Oh, oh this too actually. I'm looking at uh, the same painting. <laughs> that's why. Okay. This is yeah. This I cannot put them together here. Okay. So you just. Uh, want to copy one of these right Let, let's let's just do the one with a vertical inscription which uh, we can we can easily uh, follow okay henry yes i have a question um when you say chi movement so what do you mean is there a certain direction yeah it has to do with the uh direction of the line certainly uh it, it it's invisible it's more invisible um, even the the stroke stops, it goes uh, across the the emptiness, the empty part, into another stroke. So all strokes are related, are connected by qi. So they should all go in the same movement. In the same breath, breath. I see. So, okay, when you write calligraphy, do you have experience with? Uh, any calligraphy, even English calligraphy. Um, when you when you reload your pen or brush, mm -hmm. and you go back, can you start over again without thinking about what you have done on that day in that particular mood? So you should keep the the, the mood, the breath, right? You understand? Okay. Okay. Yeah, because I thought. Maybe, yeah. Henry, isn't it more like the rhythm of the painting? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a rhythm. It, mm -hmm. it's, it's a rhythm, right. Definitely has to do with rhythm. You see the dots here. If you compare the mass dots, uh, the left one and the, the right one, uh, you will see the um, rhythm on this one, you know, the, uh, the variation in size and distance here versus this one. It, it it does have some, but uh, you know, not 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 if you compare, you know, it's not a beginner. It maybe you know, it's like a experienced uh, artist. But I think you know, the dots is very hard, and it's it's pure. You know, it, it's a pure uh, composition of music, visual music. Yeah, that that has to do with uh, the chi. Also, yeah. So this uh, this dandelion uh, leaf it has she also, I think, and that that one is kind of, kind of like that, just to illustrate, uh, like a botanic illustration. It doesn't have the life. And she also has the vitality. We call that this. There are many chi. In Chinese, we have. Um, a modifier usually uh, go before that. It could, you, you can talk about uh, a scholar's chi, a book chi, you know, a smell of book. Sometimes we translate that. That, that means uh, from your your stroke or your art, your painting, um, it indicates the knowledge base you have. So this one, it, uh, the, your source of inspiration, we can we can see is from. Uh, 
uh, a certain school or a certain master like a Shi Tao or Bala Shangren or Xu Wei, you know, that kind of uh, book. And you also can talk about uh, some uh, 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 hermit, uh, some, some kind of spirit, you know. Um, but definitely, yeah, see, this cat doesn't really uh, try to please people. That's kind of a chi. It's a, <laughs> yeah. But that doesn't have to be very, um, very, you know, odd to, to be an individualist uh, artist. Anyway. So it, it, she, uh, according to the uh, master in Ming Dynasty, who uh, who was asked, to, you know, uh, about Qi, and he said that Qi is the uh, we we everybody uh, gained the Qi by birth, so it's not possible to teach to teach Qi. Um, however, uh, it could be cultivated by reading thousand volumes and travel 10,000 miles, <laughs> okay, by life experience and uh, reading, uh, you know, study. So that's the advice of uh, the uh, literary uh, theorist, Dong Qi Chang. You know, he was a great painter, the synthesizer, right, of uh, all different ancient styles. So um, let me just uh, put this on top. So we can compare the two, and I'm going to do this. Uh, what time is it? Uh, okay, good. Yeah, if you have any comments or questions. I just want to ask you a quick question. Did, did uh, Pan Tian Shou use his little finger with a long fingernail and, um, he probably, and maybe a, a little slit in the fingernail or? Uh -huh. he, he probably used that for uh, doing the whisker or something. Uh, he, oh. he, yeah, I did read that this morning. He said the main, uh, main finger uh, to, to, to paint with is the middle, uh, the, not, not the middle, the index finger, index finger. And uh, in large strokes, like uh, like lotus uh, uh, leaves, he will use uh, uh, other fingers. And the small finger is uh, reserved for doing the details, maybe the whisker or the eye, pu the pupil or something like that. And uh, let me see, this one is, uh, this one, actually this one is the, the National Gallery collection. Uh, let me let me change the other one, so I can use a, I can enlarge. Oh. The auction one, I think. Okay. Okay. Let's just watch this one. Uh, this one says "Zhi Mo," means that the finger ink, finger painted. And here it says "Zhi Mo," finger. In. And you, you probably, if you, you know, go to the, if you see the original, you would probably see the fingerprints somewhere, like a thumb or something. I, I, I taught a finger painting class earlier. If you missed it, you can review that. Uh, has, uh, I think I also mentioned uh, his, uh, his finger painting. And uh, Chen Songye, the other artist who does uh, the pine and the cliff, is also a great finger painter. He does the you know, the uh, dotted lines. Yeah. So, yeah, the good point is uh, he doesn't use, he doesn't really want to, sh to show the finger trail traces. He tried to mimic the brush with the finger, but because of the limitation, he couldn't really do that. That's the beauty of a finger painting. You see this uh, kind of uh, line quality. It has the softness of the fresh, and the hardness, hard edge of the nail. So you, I can almost see how the finger was moved. This could be also, you know, the finger is, finger, the, fin the nail is on the, on one side. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I, I, I use a special brush 
I tried to, to do the same. So I cut this brush like, like this diagonally and keep one side by clicking and uh, trim the, the other side, see if I can <laughs> reproduce the finger painting effect, okay? You don't have to follow me doing this. You can just uh, use a regular brush. Um, okay, I was thinking um, to do the cat first. Uh, it's kind of hard to read. So I will draw this rock with my fingernail just to um, although you know we talked about the the, the beginning the beginning the, the turning um, that why don't we just follow that uh, we can also do that okay so I would I'll just follow the um, the four four parts for development uh, Henry, what paper are you using? Oh, I'm using unsized Sean. Thank you for Thank you. that. Unsized Sean. This is what he used in this case. He he think um, unsized Sean is the best for finger painting because it's more spontaneous with the smearing. Uh, semi size is next, and then unsized is no good. Too stiff even for finger painting. Why don't we just do the catch uh, first? I really don't want to uh, miss the proportion or anything. So I'll use this brush as if I'm using my fingernail to draw the, so I just use the tip part to draw the, the line. I, 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 I see the, the cat is almost uh, uh, touching the sky line. The, the top ceiling. So it's very stretched, stretched. So why don't we do uh, the tail part first? This is almost, if something wrong, you know, doesn't uh, matter. So it's, uh, it's like uh, the, the direction of the, the top plane of the rock, rock but uh, you, should, you should hide, uh, hide the, the beginning part. How do I do? I just I just use the brush this way maybe. So I just draw. And you can you can repeat it like that to indicate the the texture maybe a little bit. And then just use tip to finish. In. You can add some. Just take advantage of the the shape of the nail heart. Okay. And this is uh, about uh, two thirds. Right to tell that, and that's the it's a dark line, and I see the contour is almost pure ink, so maybe I just keep going and without reloading. So I'll draw this uh, stretched for for um, arm, and I align. This time I I okay. Here we have an issue of a solid and the and uh, uh, hard and soft or solid and void. Void doesn't mean, uh, I just tried to translate the term xu and shi. Uh, solid means uh, uh, like at the top. Void is, you see the more dotted, lost and found, are softer, even lighter. It could be light, lightened with the, you know, the color later. So I just, uh, so uh, this, this line goes uh, with a little break of that. that uh, so the chi actually goes up here on his arm and I just draw this, so it gets stretched. And I, I need to push that all the way to almost the edge, almost the edge. So it's almost there, something, it's quite long. So I don't know if this tail is long enough. I keep just thinking. So everything's related, you know. So if it's too long, I, I can make it shorter still. Uh, I just turn that line into a, uh, whisker, I think. I have to make sure that the 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 forearm is a little shorter than the tail, at least, right? So let's draw this. So I know the width will probably give me a better reference, and then I make this this elbow. Okay, I use dry brush 
more like you know a little softer, which gives a little. And the, uh, there's a, uh, I think the sum of the the, the poem is. I think this okay. Uh, read the read carefully. I almost made a mistake here. That that uh, Paul you see uh, is the the right right hand right, right Paul. Okay, so we shouldn't see that. Okay, so let's let's draw the just continue with the jar jar in the front and just dry the brush. So I want to dry the brush. This brush is actually broken in the middle, so it's kind of swaying. That gives me less control, which is good. It's just like you, if you use some tool that's not so handy, that creates the rawness. We call okay. it shen, shen versus shou, mature, uh, you know, it's raw like a student, just uh, hesitation, hesitation or something like that. that. That's actually good in painting. So finger painting just creates some kind of a raw, rawness, I think. And this is a little, uh, the nose of the cat is quite small with this uh, big cat, you know, like uh, the, the leopard or, or a, lion, uh, a lion or uh, tiger. So uh, here we have a forehead, which is almost a straight, a little curve. And the eye is closed. There's a little dimp, I, I missed it, but uh, yeah, I can make it tough maybe a little bit. Okay, that's about it. And then uh, draw the ears in the front first, right? And that, that forehead is a little rounded, so I need to do that. Can you see it? I, I need to zoom in a little bit and remind me if I'm outside, I go going out of the camera later. So that that um, created the break, the the break. And uh, uh, I did the you can you can do the the other year later because it's lighter and softer. We call shu. And but notice the continued chi here on the dome, right? This is a, like an apple dome. So it goes. So this side is still a little round, but that's too deep. So you, you need to go up, uphill again. And uh, the, the, the peak is at the, this is a, a bone point. That's very important to have a squarish, squarish tint. So that's soft, I mean, stiff. Is that high enough? I'm not sure. So let me see. Yeah, my, my finger fingernail, I missed it actually. So I should go up there. So that, that curve should go all the way up, but I'm exaggerating. Oh, I think too much. <laughs> Did I mess it up? I should do a yeah. better drawing. So you should spend more time on drawing than painting. That's the lesson I just learned in Western painting. So uh, the better drawing you do, the more freedom you have. I, I just uh, uh, heard a metaphor um, in another um, portrait class over the weekend. Uh, it's like a deposit. Uh, if you have, uh, um, you know, better drawing is like deposit. If you have more credit, uh, you you have free, more freedom to spend. Uh, that's a, a wonderful um, way to put it. So I just cover it with. Uh, some, some. Uh, I'll just do some cover up here. I try to enlarge the head a little bit. Okay, I try to show you how I fix things, but realize the problem as soon as possible. You don't have to correct it right away. Sometimes you have to just keep working, and you will probably. Um, come up with a, a better solution, you know, later on. I think I made another mistake. I just want to make sure. So the, the, the contour must be correct. Yeah, so this, this, um, this, this two peak should be different. So that creates a 
um, uh, downhill movement. Um, I think you see, I just missed it. So this, this is the peak, this is the second peak, right? This goes down, but that's uh, the other side of the uh, side. This the left, uh, the right side, side. Yeah. So let me just use uh, this kind of pattern to to correct that. You you don't have to copy all the marks. Uh, the rhythm is uh, your own rhythm is important. So this this hip is in front of the tail. I should, you should cover that. So it's so um, kind of uh, uh, tight or me. Uh, me means uh, dance, right? This is dance kind of create this uh, tucking feel. It contrasts with that uh, loose uh, loosening up uh, for the you know the, the rock part so let's do that <coughs> the rock let's just continue this corner I want to I I, I missed some part of uh, uh, some space my, my cat is getting too big I think I need to adjust it maybe or just take uh, some off from the other side maybe but you need to make a stop there. So it's not um, down all the way. So I just make a stop there. So that's in the front and then just go up like that. Okay. And uh, here we do the Oh, you can push the brush to get the split effect. I think uh, when I enlarge the painting, I, I don't see the whole picture. That's why I, I just did end up doing this <laughs> like, a, like a partial copy, but that's okay. I'll, I'll do another one maybe if I have a chance. I just finished this one. So Yeah, another um, reason or chi is created naturally by just finishing the uh, the brush uh, ink in the brush. So that created uh, dry from wet to dry, from uh, light from dark to light, all the all the uh, changes variations. You know that he always created this kind of uh, cave with his painting. This is this little tight area. Stains. Not area. Um, it seems a, it's a it's important part. And then I just use a, um, I think probably he used overnight ink that create the dark center with the smearing. Um, let's see if I can get some, I don't have the ink cake here. I think somewhere here on my table, I can't find it. Oh, here. I just use uh, this instead of overnight ink. It, it creates some uh, a dark um, spot in the center, I think. if. You have to remember he does this with finger. So he, he probably load a lot of ink and just let it smear for a while. So let's say you can just do this. See, that's the effect he got from overnight ink. And that vary the size of the um, dots and the distance you create. Henry, that cake ink that you had there, I bought some. So it's actually liquid ink that's dried. Oh uh, yeah, it's, just... it's a paste, uh, not liquid. It's probably from uh, the a paste, but they use different uh, binding materials, so it doesn't uh, need to grind. 
I'm sorry. I don't I, like it. I bought I, one and I, I really like it. Yeah, it's convenient to carry. Yes, that's why I have it when I'm at work, so I don't have to carry ink with me. Uh huh. Yeah, we have that with the student pack. Um, recently, we we running low on it, so you cannot get it uh, right away. But the restock will come in in, uh, in a few weeks. Uh, so just wait if you want to buy it. <coughs> Besides, our website is uh, is having some problems. So. Uh, if you could wait a few days, it, it, it would be good to help. Okay. And uh, some, uh, he, this area is very dark, like a shady area. So we, we probably have to wait a little bit until it dries. So you, uh, you want to, uh, let me just dry it with, with this. And, so it will not create a big blob. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, keep a little bit uh, moisture there, so it's not uh, completely dry. I don't want that either. So let's see. You you can do it f very fast with a rhythmic movement. You know, sometimes it's it's better than planned uh, planned uh, uh, rhythm, natural rhythm. All always good. Just concentrate what you want in your mind. If your mind tells you I want to dance and sparse, and your your hand will follow. If you if you don't have this concept of dance and sparse, a variation of distance or size, you you know no matter what you do, how slow or how quick you you won't get it. So it should. Um, that's why you know he think the finger painting is better with uh, uh, the chi and uh, the, the brush is better with with the stroke. So here I missed the little power here. The middle one is bigger with some perspective. Okay, just they're probably overlapping. Anyway, the eye could be a little darker. It has it has a mark. That's why I I, I didn't do the mark on the face because I want the line to dry to dry first. And you can use kind of light and then re enhance it. I don't I don't know if that works. So yeah, you, I think he, he draw the line with darker ink and then uh, wash it with gray. He used the, uh, some white maybe on the on the back that uh, that uh, lighting it. Okay. There's no grass or anything on the rock. I don't see any. So I'll just uh, draw some grass on the bottom. And I will, I will probably not uh, do the dandelion, dandelion uh, just to omit that, I think. You can you can use a good brush, I think. But let me just finish. And this just grass, not orchid or any, anything, just to create a some some interest to overlap with this corner and make it a little starting point which direct the eye goes up that's all and you can put some some mustards and you can use color to do that um, <coughs> a little bit uh, indigo uh, okay let me see you got some color here. Sorry, Henry. Uh, I missed it. This must dot. So you have a lot of water, and then only the tip. You have the ink. So you have. Yeah, I have the ink cake. So that's why he created this kind of separation, like he did. He, he did. But you don't, have to, 
Yeah. Yeah, it's overnight ink. Uh, like a dried up ink, it will yeah. create this, uh, this granny cent center where the water spreads. Yeah, that, that's that's uh, that's the technical. Uh, yeah, this part I didn't do it. I use fresh ink, so there's no, no, uh, um, no, no, no. This uh, this little hollow kind of thing. So, but I can use a color maybe to 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 make it up. Maybe we can, oh. can create a song. I use overnight ink. I never got that effect. Oh, if you use uh, the, the, do you have the ink cake? No, yeah. I don't. Oh yeah, the, I use the ink cake. I use ink cake. So you, if you if you want, yeah, we are out of stock, I just said, uh, right now. So you, you need to wait a, a few weeks. It's uh, on the, um, on the ship right now. So I'm going to wash the, uh, I, I think I, I, I got this from last two, last class, you know, when we draw this uh, background mountain, right? So that, uh, uh, I think it's a kind of Western, Western color, but I, I think it's, it's nice just to wash my dish. Just add a little water to finish this loose part. Okay, and uh, I need some more. So, so this is the color I use. It's Western color, um, but you can you can use amber or you know, either tube or chip. And I add a little yellow, maybe a little bit. You can mute it with uh, some indigo if you want. Oops, it's some, some other colors. Yeah, this one has a lot of uh, grains in it because it's dried. It's once a mutant, a uh, burnt sienna. That's, that's the color I use for, for this rock. Just a little bit, a little bit ink and the, and the detail this part. Okay. It's still wet, I hope it's not doing too much. Yeah, this is this is a warm color that brings the the green up the temperature and it's not feeling too cold on the rock psychologically. It's also good to see it, you know, in summer you feel cool. You know, the, the picture I just showed you, it actually, the, that's the real picture happening right now in my hometown. Uh, my brother took it the other day um, in, a, in a park in Nanjing. That's the, showing the two cats uh, resting or playing on the rock near the lotus, lotus pond. Oops. Here's another thing. You see, this is too shu. Shu means too, too uh, full, right? It, it, it must have some rhythm, you know, that's the guideline. You see, um, in, in, in Western art, you may, you may have other explanation why this shouldn't be so dark, but uh, in Chinese painting, it's simple. You, you need to have a reason to justify anything like a dark solid or a light. So that's the concept of the shu and the shu. And uh, it has to do with uh, the rhythm of the qi. The, yeah, in the painting, so. I just created some kind of structure to uh, indicate a shady area or something like that. But we don't do the shade and this hole, this head with any color. So just uh, to keep the, the chi flow, you know, it's a hollow, hollow cave. If you put the dark shade there, it will destroy the emptiness 
uh, if the if the the space the hollow space is indicated, you don't have to use uh, color to to paint it. Yeah, and this whole rock is treated as a as a void in in other paintings, but here because we don't have other than the catch, uh, you know, we don't have much of things around it, so it's uh, washed. He he could leave it just white, you know, but we have a um, a large empty space here. Just don't fill it up. I have some fine white here and there, and uh, we just use a little indigo to apply on this grass. Maybe that's all. And, uh, the cut cat has a little bit. Um, a little bit of color in the white because the, the reflection of the blue sky, maybe it has a Western explanation. Uh, oops, that's too, too dark. That's too dark. Need it. There's some brown. Oh, that's not an indigo, it's uh, the cello. Cello color is very strong. Be careful with that. Some large, some small, I think. Yes. And uh, almost uh, no space. That's the only chi I have there. So I, if you lose that, you lose the chi. Um, just be careful with, you know, not to lose that. Okay. Just, and this little bit of uh, unpainted space has much to do with the chi. If you don't have any space in a in a you know area like this, you lose all the little pockets of the whiteness. Um, you will feel stuffed and no chi, no no uh, yeah no no flow, no air. It's just the of has to do with our feeling of a, uh, of a living, you know, thing. So we think everything has the the, the uh, breath uh, as a as a life. Uh, even the rock is uh, like a you know a, a man has a face. I think has the uh, three faces, right? Okay, I'm going to to. Add a little uh, painting on the on the face. Yeah, you can you can let it smear a little bit. Okay, and then uh, squeeze out the ear. And you can just create this kind of stains stains. There's a, I, I added a little blue to the to the ink, so it it has a little blue. Cool to contrast with the, the rest. See this. This is very dry here. That's the shu. Shu means a uh, uh, soft, yeah, or um, white. Solid means sh uh, real, real. Um, a four, yeah. Okay. Okay, maybe I, I'm overdoing. Yeah, there's a little white to be there. And some, I, I already blocked that on top because I really don't like that line. Just want to hide that a little bit. My line is not so clean as the master. Usually, you know, um, in others painting was what I see is, you know, little pink in the real cat. But the keep it simple, just to uh, leave it out. Okay. And uh, you can sign maybe on the corner because uh, I, I don't have much space on the right. Uh, he, yeah, I think on this corner or this lower corner, this is there's a, a, a Bennett's foot seal or some collector seal. Yeah, there's a collecting seal, and uh, there's original seal on the left on the left foot, co uh, left corner. 
think the, the name still signature is on the right side. So I'll just use a short one. Uh, we can still uh, um, you know, pay, pay tribute or uh, homage to the master. Let me write small. Let me just, uh, I'm thinking just right in the middle of the rock and it will block the chi. It will not be very authentic. So I just write on top of that in two lines, maybe Jing, a homage to Fan So I think he, he doesn't have a, another name. Han Lao, or maybe Tan Tian Shou. You can say Master Pan, Han Lao. Tan Tian Shou, I think Tan Tian Shou will be fine. And Victoria just showed in her class how to write these two characters, pay tribute to, pay um, homage to Pan Tian Shou. Pan Tian Shou. I'll just write the simplified character. It's too much strokes, too many strokes. And I'll just write the year. And my name, my forename, to show respect, you write your full name. Okay. My color is a little stronger than the original, I think, because the use of a Western color. And the uh, burn, uh, not the cello, cello blue is a very, very uh, strong too. So you might use indigo and a little bit. Okay. That's the, my first uh, attempt. I never copied the painting show before. I realized this how difficult. Um, I always admire his uh, compositions, but I think it's di di very difficult to copy. Because yeah. he didn't use a brush, uh, he used his fingers. Okay, um, let's do the, do we have time? Yeah, we, we'll do another one with the pine and the dark. Okay, this. The, uh, I'll just do it uh, from memory, memory, so uh, to see how I uh, I memorized. Let me see. But you 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 should have a reference. Let me see. Oh, uh, here's a, uh, the large painting based on that uh, con uh, same uh, compositional idea. Uh, so a, a leaned uh, a, a, a tilt tree against the right frame, the rock. This rock become a, a little hill with the houses. Um, uh, this is the toad. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the movement of a uh, chi. I, I put it in the handout already. Oh, this is the one. Okay, I just put it uh, on the side, but I try not to look at it. Yeah, we can just look at the small picture so we see the whole thing. Okay, and the, this paper may not exactly the same proportion, so but I'll I'll try to follow the same same design. Let me mute the background. If you don't speak, you just mute yourself. Let me see if I can do that for you. Oops. 
So I'm going to do the tree first. Okay. And the rock. <clears throat> so this tree goes from this is starting to keep it very low and root it. Um, you need, need to leave a little um, triangular area for the black uh, cypress tree or something. So I'll just do. Um, maybe it's a good idea to start from, usually when I do pine tree, I start from where the, the branch start, uh, the branch starts, the chunk, uh, the, the uh, division point is right there. I think. So this, this is a, I don't see an, 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 usually a knot, but I don't see that. So we just, uh, Am I seeing a image? Uh, it's confusing because I, I'm seeing a mirror image on Zoom. That's weird. Okay, there we go. So um, that's the turning point, but I don't have to go that, in that direction. I, I want to go down to the where we supposed to have the root, right? So I go to the left and then go down and very straight. It has this kind of uh, uh, rhythm, you know, some uh, some some uh, fast, some slow, some curve, some straight. But when, when you have the left side, it becomes a reference to the uh, to your right side, right? So you, you want to uh, to vary the uh, sides, but not lose the uh, the overall overall connection, so it, it it doesn't feel like a, uh, disconnected. You know, there's a there's a split in the middle that uh, it's could it be long scar or something on the tree. So that tree is kind of old tree. We have done this it with the Yuan Dynasty master Wu Wu Zhen, right? So some. Um, some inner contour, inner contour, that's the word. It could be done um, together with the outer contour. So you don't have to do all the, the two lines on, on the outside, then you do the inside. Um, that's, a, that's the way. So you, you but the reason I, I, uh, I do this is you know I, I just keep the, the brush moving upward without considering the the width. Then I worry about that. I add another you know, line next to it to make up if the, if I need to adjust the width uh, according you know. So that's why it comes in and out, in and out constantly. Uh, it takes experience to do that, but don't try to mimic deliberately. Uh, but later on, when you're familiar with the process. You you do it uh, uh, naturally. So just the, uh, when you do the right side, take a um, look at, on the opposite side to make sure it's a, it has a rhythm and has a connection. Uh, okay. The 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 root part is the most difficult when you find when you tend to find because you want to show the grab grabbing um, of a, it's like a nail of an eagle or something. Just think about that. It has the power to to hold the weight on top, not just float. So you can tuck in with some dark, like a um, kind of like this a little bit. That, that, that suggests the. So I, I exaggerate a little bit to show you. Okay, and uh, you can always add uh, barks later. Okay, if you don't know what to do, just do that. And if the brush is dry, you can do it. Um, when the brush is wet, just starting where you, it doesn't matter if you just stay Because this was done with uh, probably finger again. 
uh, it has the globe, the uh, little, you know, heavy star. It tends, just like you paint with a red pen or the bamboo pen, it goes from wet to dry instantly. <laughs> okay, that's the kind of reason. And um, so this this is the turning point. I, I'll do that later. I just developed all the way, developed the starting, developed all the way to the to the right. right? So there's another turning point, which is not very far actually, not very far from from this uh, uh, middle section, and then goes up. And there is the the one I'm looking for. This eye, uh, this I call it eye of the pine. The uh, not not whole, and then goes up, goes up a little bit, not straight, so like that, and uh, then goes diagonal to the corner. This this is usually the uh, you know when you have the the branch it goes like that, and then you, you have this this joints, which uh, could be in the front of the uh, the trunk. Yeah, that's this is what uh, not uh, always on the side. So this this one actually is in the in the front. This hole is also indicated in the middle. Okay, now we we do some some uh, uh, start to change direction a little bit. So the other branches all towards the the right. Now we have a branch towards the left to balance that. And this is a triangular shape. There's a hole there. Okay, <laughs> that's about it. And uh, you can double the lines and there, but the, it become, um, you remember how to do the single line? You, you, you make a dot before you turn uh, from double line to make a pass before you turn into uh, single lines. Yeah, it's, it's not suddenly become thin. Okay, so add some, uh, uh, some half circle, some just a S shape or some, just some texture, you know. But they, 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 they vary from, from uh, some on the left, some to the left, and so it shows the twisting, twisting of uh, the the, the uh, uh, trunk somehow. Okay, so this is a shaded area, dark area. Okay, so it's just dot some. That's it. I'm going to. This is a mass dot brush you can get from uh, our store. This is a sample of the old, uh, the newer version will arrive. Uh, it's the ink cakes, and it will have a larger, a little thicker one. Second edition, we still have first edition available. A few left, if you want to have the smaller one. Um, this group of uh, pine needles is uh, uh, like a four circle for around it, but uh, uh, it's not even. I think the top is longer, but he used very sharp strokes, just like kicking out. So we try to keep that to feel, kick, kick out with sharp. That's really bony. And he, he has a, a seal says, Chang Qi Gu, 
and you strength the bone, the bone, the, the bone, the the uh, the bone of the stroke, bone of the stroke. So he, whenever possible, he would use you know, the straight, uh, hold the brush straight and use calligraphy stroke. Try to indicate the powerless, powerfulness of the original. Okay. Don't be afraid to go outside so you can paint half group outside. And there's uh, some mustards to, it's just like a broken stem there. And I overlapped about a half of uh, uh, the group with a previous layer. I'm not going to do the outlined lines on the, or lichens on the trunk, I think. I just use, make it simple. We don't have time to do it all. Okay, um, so I just make up some leaves here instead of doing the second plant. I just make some, some uh, uh, shu means behind or softer, farther or, you know, just lighter lighter groups, but this one is in front of the place that is more solid than the trunk. And this this is the, the part of that. And then you combine the, there's a branch for this group. And the, the, the group should be overlapping each other, not uh, isolated, okay. It, it you can go from outside in also. You don't have to do all the way. Uh, but I think he probably did uh, inside out. But it, it needs more control, so it not go. Yeah, he does have a very long tip. It could for um, in the um, traditional theory, it might look too weak. But he has a so powerful start, so it goes. So you, you accumulate the power in the bottom, it's so solid, and then it goes uh, out with a sharp and long tip. If you only have the narrow stroke, it goes long, it's like a rat tail, it shows weakness in calligraphy. Um, so it, you don't want to, don't want to paint the stroke too long with you know, too narrow. Uh, this, okay, there. I, I tried to vary the shape of the whole block. Um, just you can combine these two to form a medium. Uh, let's say this is the large. This whole group is large, but among the large, there could be small, you know, um, small divisions of the large and this medium small. And I call this the uh, medium, and this is a, a jumper between the two. A jumper means a small group that connects the large and the medium. Okay. The rock, that's the one stroke. That's a, think about, if you could, you know, think about some, some uh, uh, like a panda or some animal, or, you know, you, looks like a has a life, you know, something like that. Here's the, the face of some, you know, just think about some, give that, give some life to the dead rock. Oh, I think I'm painting it too, too straight, right? So I need to make this part a little bit like that, a nose, something. I should make it lean to the right. So it's hard to create this kind of, uh, um, we call the xian, danger, danger, uh, or um, tension, tension, yeah. OK, 
kind of tension. So it's kind of hard to create a tension um, in painting because we used to go, you know, very safe. It's hard to create tension. So he called it to zhao xian and then then po xian to balance, to solve, uh, to to secure it or to yeah to save it, Sa safe and the. So you but you need to create imbalance first. So that's kind of a, so this is already balanced pretty well. So this could be a little bit lean like that somehow. Okay, just try to, oops. Mm, there's no grass, just the, uh, some dots indicate the soil. So I'm going to use medium dark for the trees on the corner. Just add a little water to the brush. And you can do the middle trunk first. And this is in the front of this large tree. So because in the front, there's a root. Oops. Root part is always difficult, even with a small tree like that. And then I, I um, got to this, this horizontal traditional uh, median, you know, Mi dots. Remember in Northern Song Dynasty, the artist Mi, Mi Fei, Mi Fu, uh, who created this, uh, this style uh, named after his last name. But also we call it the rice dots. It's shaped like a oval. Shape like a rice, maybe. And some dots on this uh, trunk is um, moss dots. Yeah. And then some in this dark area. And there's some, I think that's it. You can add your own if you need it. And this one. You can use dots to modify lines, to connect lines, or you know, create a line. If you use continue the dot, you can do that. Some some dots here is, is acting like a line. Okay, that's here is uh, pretty much the rounded dots, and it has a rhythm between number and the variation of the number and the and the uh, distance. Okay. Not to repeat, that's, uh, that's it. And uh, use a soft brush to wash, give a little bit of color. Okay, I'm going to use this. It's muted to this a little. This is a tree. I use my palm to test. Uh, I also use the uh, palm temperature to dry the ink. You can put some dots in the middle part and then let it smear. <laughs> you know, don't have to. Uh, it, it, actually, that's the trick. You don't want to paint the whole thing. If you want to have a, a larger, uh, you can use a, a wet brush and just uh, lead the lead the ink, soften the, the edge a little bit. It will. It, it takes some time to 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 do the trick. You know, just use a little bit. But you you do want to show the the pine uh, needles. Okay, that's part of the style. So that's. Stop smearing if you need it. Uh, just blot it if you want to stop. Okay. And uh, do we have another place here uh, with the dots? Yeah. You kind of um, modify the shape. You don't just repeat what master does. You, want, you try to understand why you put there. You know, something, there's a reason or logic. You always 
Okay, I, I'm, I'm going to change to brown color. Amber, amber color. Just use a little bit of ink and the leftover blue to mute it. Yeah, uh, you can use a uh, stroke like the circles on, you know, just um, the uh, same kind of stroke and dots. Is that you, you don't just wash like a uh, paint, paint. You don't just paint the, the uh, surface. You, you you add more texture and stroke. And leave a lot of white. And this is a chili area. And just outline or uh, highlight the outline with this brown or gray, warm gray. This is a kind of a sunny area, some warm area. We can use a more orange kind of. Red. You can highlight, but not not to repeat all the strokes. Just just pay attention to the whole. And you, you will see. Make sure there's no particular place that pops out uh, too much. It to harmon, you know, to to harmonize instead of uh, uh, create uh, some. Uh, distinct uh, parts, you know, that distract the, that's the uh, viewer. Okay, so if it's too dry, you know, you can add this to harmonize it. This softness, and we leave a lot of white. So it's like a white tree, and we have some kind of like bushes. You know, and the, we, we don't have seal on this side, so I just use uh, dots to balance that. The same function, as the uh, same socks, and same logic as that uh, um, wood seal. Okay. And we can write horizontally that way, just to follow his uh, composition. Just to follow his composition, and uh, I need to make sure it's, there is no leak of the chi there. So just make a heart, but not uh, uh, what to say. That, you know, if you only have one leaf, that it might be a tangent. Uh, just if you have like this that he, he did, it, if it feels like there are more. Things outside, not just the end there, you know, cut off there. Okay, so I'll just write horizontally. Jujing Pan Tian Shou. So don't not start from the middle. So you have to find out more words. So, so it's on this side. Or we can write very loosely uh, with a kind of distance. You can write the uh, Hans clerical script. That's the best, probably. Um, you can leave just like half or more, even you know, one word in between. That if it's correct, just guess. Does it look like it? Is there something in here? I'll figure it out. But uh, it's sitting here. Okay. So you can write smaller with a year, and then the season could be a season summer or something. Uh, it's uh, there's a festival, I think we just passed uh, 
few days ago, but it's still in the, it's called the Dragon Boat Festival. We have a name for that, Duan Lu. The season. Okay. Okay. Usually, uh, I think your last name could be separated uh, from first name, I think. Okay, so. I'll just. Ah, my name is Nessa. I not believe it. Um, oh, you can write the word Hua. It's painted. Okay. Now I use a larger seal. Because the size of the seal should match the character size, so this one's about it. Um, what's the this place is here. Up here. Okay, uh, let me show you this whole thing. Oh, I put a fingerprint there already. That's authentic mark. It's okay. It's Leave it. Authenticity mark. Okay, that's that's it. And uh, notice that I didn't watch any inside except the dots. You can. Uh, you can do a little bit more, but uh, I think we better leave it out because it shows difference. Maybe it's less is more always. Yeah. Less is more. Okay, um, that's all for today. I feel much better uh, than I just began with this class. It's, um, it's a therapy uh, for any anxiety I had. So I wish to share this experience with you. The paintings really help to lower my uh, blood pressure and uh, smooth my breath, my heartbeat. I feel really good in this class. Thanks for. Uh, join me again. And um, uh, if you want to ask questions, you, you, you can. I was saying like a few minutes or more. Uh, you can also just uh, take advantage of the online class. I think some of you are uh, submitting your beautiful work by email. Um, I think uh, uh, Aline, right? I, I, yeah, I, I, I suggest you join the group discussion. There's, uh, if you join one year, it's only $10 per month. Uh, you get all the access to previous class and uh, materials and uh, um, uh, you can do your independent study based on your own interest. I will give you guidance and uh, critiques um, that way. So, yeah. So, do consider that, and you have your own pace. Uh, you know you, the other class is pre-recorded, including this series. Um, so, it, you know if you if you want to try, you can try one month for twenty dollars. But it, I I would advise you to just sign up for a year. Um, you will really like the group. It's very friendly. Very, I I think you will get lots of. Uh, um, positive comments and uh, uh, with your, your practice uh, and help also with each other. Okay. okay. Um, any, 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 any questions and uh, any, 
Let me open this question. Uh, but you can unmute yourself. Lisa, you have a question? Uh, no, I, I, I am fascinated by this style because um, I love seeing the cats, the, the, com the uh, contrast between the cats that you showed. And it was clear to me which one was better. Um, and, and, um, and that little exercise of studying them helped me to understand the power in the fewer strokes, what you were saying before, which is less is best. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, yeah. yeah, I think the, the dots, something like that, it's, a, yeah. it's very hard to, you see, this is a, all messed up. I I'm probably can make up a little bit uh, when it's dry. It's dry. Yeah, so you need to, uh, it's because the fingerprints, you know, make it a, uh, a, a perfect balance, like a, a hard center with soft, and it creates, a, a, you know, the, the, round, the round dots perfectly. But with, I think you also need to control the time of the, the color. I, I couldn't wait to dry, so that kind of messed up. Uh, that's my first attempt. I will, I will try to do more in the future. Maybe. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's worth um, our time to, to, you know, to spend on him because uh, um, you will learn uh, the, the power of brush strokes and also the composition, the empty and the full, especially. Yes. It's hard to okay. keep it empty. It's a, it's a challenge uh, <laughs> yes. to, to keep it um, empty. Yeah. It's very easy to, to, to make it too busy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. I think it's a great lesson. Thank you, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. yeah, Henry, I like uh, the comparison of the, you know, the paintings. It uh, will train our eyes to recognize and. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. That, that's a. Uh, um, if you look at the internet, you'll find a uh, lot of uh, fake painting. That's a good training. Don't spend money uh, on them, because I, <laughs> yeah, I got calls saying, "Do you like Fubashi? I got Fubashi. Uh, do you want to take a look? Because I, you know, it's obvious uh, it's. Uh, the, they, they do have it uh, on eBay, you know, for uh, hundreds of dollars, uh, which is cheap, you know, for, for, for their, if it's authentic, then there are people who, who buy those, yeah. They're, you know, sometimes just the prints, I can't believe it, you know. It looks real, but uh, um, it's prints. It's hard to, to tell these days. Right. Yeah, in the future, if every class we can, Compare one that will be helpful too. Yeah, certainly. Uh, if I have any chance, I'll show you the how to uh, distinguish the, uh, the real from the fakes. I don't think this is a. I don't have any um, information on on the on the painting uh, on the left, but I I think it, it's just a, a, a less. Uh, a lesser quality painting, even if yeah. it's authentic. Yeah. So you, yeah, we our all purpose is just you know, to study what's good, what's uh, bad, yeah. better. Yeah. That's uh, the main purpose, right? Yeah, just We're like the the ox uh, uh, plowing painting. I, I really want to share uh, what you did, and then the other uh, uh, student did. Uh, uh, I just received this morning from. Uh, Ellen, do you want to see that? Um, I, I can share because he, she's not in the class. Um, let me share with uh, you guys before you go. So that, that, that ox exercise really helped because it's not about uh, inferior uh, uh, superior, but it's about study, you know, how do you uh, copy master? Right. Yeah, I think uh, uh, we, we should, I, I wish I had a chance to do that painting sometime. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to understand how to do the ox was really something. I mean, just studying it, but it, I'd like some instruction on that. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, uh, let me see the, uh, what's the, I tried to find the name. It, um, 
I think. Oh, me? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, it's what's your, uh, I, I think I have it in email, but I do, yeah. I did save it. Mm. I put a title, just Water Buffalo. Water Buffalo, yeah. Okay, let me, let me go to my, my email and uh, access there. Let's see. Sorry about that. I, I, I did save it, but I couldn't find it. Uh, let me see if I could. Okay, I think here. Uh, Ellie Rem Remnant. Okay. Yeah. Let me just find it. And I have some reference. I think it's worth looking at for the class. Um, I just Ooh. download that also. Say anything, okay. Yeah. Uh, you got the real dream jacket I haven't seen in my life. <laughs> yes, this is amazing. Okay, let me open this. So uh, I'll go back to um, okay, here we go. Let me see. If I, I just closed the handout so you see this. Okay, this is the buffalo. Um, Oops. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is the. Is this an actor, actress? I mean, yeah. Um, we visited a farmstead. A farmhouse and this lady, she lived elsewhere, but it was the original house for the farm. Oh, I think some tourist is taking picture with that uh, cloth. Mm. Yeah, I think that that's the, yeah, she doesn't look like a, a peasant. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> so uh, she's a tourist. Yeah, okay. I understood. Okay, but that's good. Um, yeah, there, this kind of a costume for rent, just picture taken everywhere in the world. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you, you did it. <laughs> okay, sorry. Oh, yeah, that, that's the costume. Okay. Oops. I didn't get the... Uh, oh, the other thing I did uh, earlier for the project. Uh, for some reason, my... Hey? I don't know where it is. That's weird. I, I just downloaded it. But it's not in the folder. Maybe a different name or something. Oh, here. I don't know why it didn't show that way. So let me just close this one. Okay, now you see. Yeah, that's a, a very good to copy by Aline. Can you say something about uh, what you, uh, how you did it and what's the challenge and how you, um, We'll do it again uh, if you have any experience to share. I try to work in the same order that you, you talked us through it. Um, so, for instance, looking at the pale green, being that it leads into the where the bridge crosses. Um, and I probably started on the, yeah, I completed the whole of the top part first and then the figures and the water last. Um, that's, that's it really. Yeah, I like the texture of the jacket because you have seen that you're made of palm fiber. Yeah, yeah. yes. And they have this, uh, this one for ox as well. I suppose yes. it's the same material, right? Yeah. The, the ox um, uh, body should have, uh, you know, um, a different stroke. I, I noticed the king's mother used a smaller brush, but the master used the larger brush. Uh -huh. Maybe a larger brush uh, than, you know, that, and also the stroke, broader stroke will help to distinguish the two parts. The mm -hmm. hair on the buffalo is very, Dance and short. You don't even really see the. This. Yes. Yes, it was. 
Mm. I think it's, uh, it's yeah, it's, you know, yeah, you can see some on the end of the neck, but in, on the body, it's pretty short. Mm. Yes. Mm. Yeah. You can just use light ink. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, this, this helps. The, the hair is concentrated on the, in the face, under the, just like beard and the hair. Something like that, right? So on doing an ox like this, do you outline the ox first and no, then I, fill it in? Oh, I think it, it is ox online. Uh, Ellie, mm. did you want to observe that? Can you yes. That? So well, certainly the head and the horns. Yeah, yeah, it's positioning. outlined. Uh, it don't have to be dark, but uh, it's outlined. Just like the cat. I outline it in the way. I see. Yeah. Just like Great. A, almost the same, yeah. like the cat's foot. Yeah. 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 And the, and the tail. It before the ox. Right. Mm, great. It's great. She did a yeah. wonderful job. I think uh, if you want, or you can share uh, King's work and others. I, I don't know if we had some new. I haven't checked. Let's see um, what we have there. Oops. Um, Okay. Let me share the screen with you. Um, I think if I did this again, I wouldn't put the ear down. Oh, oh the ear. The ear it should be a little high, higher, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. If you added, yeah, there's ear, but it was not in the original. Uh, I think it was. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, maybe a little smaller, and then the, the horn could mm -hmm. be a little smaller to give room for the ear. Mm -hmm. It's hard to, 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 to do that without a reference, but you can take a look at the picture. Let me see if we still have that. Yeah, let's uh, look at the picture again. Uh, the ear is quite behind big. the big horn. Yeah, there's an ear, but uh, you don't have to paint. Yeah, yeah. Really yeah it's good. small behind, behind the horn. Yeah. So you, it's overlapping, maybe in this case. Uh, there's the ear, maybe you can see a little bit. Oh, I see the yes. tip. I can see the tip, the light part. It's pretty yes. long. Yeah, it is thick. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's pretty long though. Yeah. Okay. That's uh, that's that's where it is. Can you see my pointer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a good uh, reference. Thanks. I wish you can share because if you uh, are part of that, I don't have to, uh, you know, paste on your behalf. I, I don't have time sometimes. Just, uh, I know, I understand. Yeah, yeah let me show you what uh, we, we have with the class and then what you can do with it if you also part of it. Um, so this is the slide. Yeah, we, we have this kind of warning for long time, but fortunately it's not crashed <laughs> like our commercial site. Uh, this is, uh, uh, let me see. So we, we just uh, created the uh, discussion for the, this series and I placed all the classes. So this is 30, uh, 36 and uh, King's work. And, and it's not here today, but uh, I'll take a look at the work and give a critique if we should submit. Uh, so that's for, from last class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, this her copy. Um, she did two. Which I one did the three. Oh, three, three. Oh, I did the three. Oh, I'm very oh, you happy. did to finish that. Oh, yeah, good. I'm glad to, uh, that I catch it uh, before you go, so we can take a look. I think the color is uh, nice. Um, Too much, right? The green jacket. No, I think it, it will, your mother did that on top of the ink. Uh, this is like a more boneless style, but it's okay. I think it's a, it's a uh, decent, uh, it's, it's a way to do that with boneless and bone. I'm like, I think I, I like it. Yeah, I like the effect, but it, it just doesn't look wet, you know, in the rain or something. It's like a little sunny. So may, maybe that's the reason you said it's too, too, too light, too colorful. I cannot get it darker, so you say. Oh, I see. There's a color called the jiao cha, jiao cha, burnt tea. Burnt tea, yes. Yeah. yeah. That's the okay. color. You can yeah. use the uh, you can use rouge, and little indigo will 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 make. It. Just consider this is yellow. You add dark red and the dark green, it will make it black. 
Okay, can I paint another coat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can paint it on, on the back also, just to, to see if you can add from back. So it will be more subtle. If you paint from top, the colors underneath. Yeah, that, that could also work. Sometimes we do that. It's just like uh, um yeah, you, you know, in watercolor, we always start light. Just you you know uh, how watercolor works. So uh, just uh, dry brush on top of this will work. Yeah. Or you can use uh, not too 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 uh, dry. I mean too dark. Just like the the texture on those mountain, the the wrinkle strokes. You know that, that uh -huh. a little bit darker, just like you do with the mountain. It will be on the back. Right. Yeah, yeah. You can just add a little uh, stroke, indicate uh, the texture a little bit. I think it, it will make it. The purpose is not to make it dark, make it uh, look a little more textured, like the rough, you know, texture of. Uh, just, just add a little, not so long. You know, I think it's pretty dense and short. The palm farmer closing, that that's what uh, it looks like. Yeah, this is my mock. I try. I suggest. To, Pin to add on this on top of this. Probably I did, but it doesn't show. I know it's kind of hard to cover. Yeah, you have to use white, but that would be different uh, feel. Yeah, I think it's sometimes easier to just do another one. Um, I I like the this part a lot. Uh, I think it's good. Um, the mountain is a little too dark on the top. I like this part the in the front. The left or the right side. I, I do like this light yellow pass, uh, you know, half, which is, uh, yeah, I think the first one also good. But the first one, uh, the, the wrinkled stroke is uh, not very uh, organized. You know, some, some too, too wet or too short doesn't uh, look neat. And his style is like a you know, the copy of a mustard seed manual is uh, very neat. Yeah. I try to stay, uh, and you can, you can make the contour, uh, how to say, you can, you can make this slope, not just one, the one uh, strong, I mean, one straight line, just, you know, make several curves, maybe something like that. Uh, but but you can change you cannot change it to you, you can modify. I like this stroke on the right side. This this line is good. It has uh, the line quality. This one just this beginning stroke. I, I would do it from uh, not from the bottom up, but from top down, you know. So it it's it's a little easier. I don't know if you did it from the the foot, this this beginning part just uh, uh, too heavy, I think. On um, uh, all the hemp stroke, it's, it ends with a loose, a shi, you know, mm -hmm. start with a shi on a little more pressure. So just, you can practice more. But I, I, I know you can do it too because this, this, uh, this heel in the front is perfect. Yeah. So just. So the uh, bottom part should be uh, void, right? Kind of. The yeah, that's a, that's a hard, that, that's what uh, I, I'm doing. So if you. Um, like Tibesh did, uh, he 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 um, used dryer brush, maybe uh, with less pressure, just just like you know, like he, uh, with a little faster could also do. Just like those strokes on, on the front uh, heel, it, it would you would, yeah. That's not a very uh, serious problem. Uh, you know, it could be hard, uh, but yeah, it's better to have a loose foot on the, on the mountains. Where you, you uh, touch the the road the pass line, that platform. Yeah. So uh, and you should, you could have more uh, of uh, the wrinkle stroke than the contour. So it looks like uh, you only have the contour and it was it's too solid, too shi. It could be yes. Shi. In in if you study four ones, the four ones style. They always start uh, with uh, what light and build up as several layers, like kneeling does, you know. So it, it, it will be more harmonious than you go directly, just like a, a woodblock print. 
So that that's a that's a problem with Shibashi Penny. Don't don't learn his uh, stiffness because he's a master, so he can do that well. <laughs> Not everybody can do could avoid the stiffness while copy, you know, uh, out of the the textbook, the ancient text, uh, the master of C. So uh, because it it it. Probably the, the the version he copied is a uh, uh, woodblock printing with uh, with different gradations. It's better than today's photocopy. You know? So you you should use more loose strokes because it's in the background. So this line is too shi, too solid. Yeah, it pops to the front. Okay. Yeah, compared to the front, it should be lighter than these lines. Yeah, at least not too. And, you know, darker. You know, it could. I will say. try again. I want to make it. A it's a lifetime. <laughs> you don't don't keep trying. Um, if you have something to you know to improve in your mind, certainly you go ahead. Not just uh, um, yeah, just maybe uh, yeah. If you like, I would I love to see how you improve. But this is kind of mountain it, you can improve with any other painting. Don't have to repeat or just. Can you repeat this part until you master it. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I have can... a question on this. Mm -hmm. uh, if I add a seal on the top left below the mountain, below that the bridge, will that be okay? I don't know. I just want to see how that. Uh, Oh, okay, uh, there, there, there's a problem potentially because the line uh, uh -huh. description starts on the same level. If you put it right the same level, it's not okay. Okay. It, it should be higher or lower. Oh. Yeah, you can put it higher in the sky or lower, not the same level as the first character on the right. Thank you. Yeah. Same thing as uh, you know this two seal. If you want to seal on this corner, you can do that, but uh, not the same level as this seal. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let me. Oh, let me take a look of other student student work. If I missed any, um, let me just uh, go back to to the home. Okay. Um, here's a, and I'm not sure if you, oh, I already commented. So she's missing today's class, I think. So let's take a look at her, her practice. Okay. Yeah, that's, a, oh, I see that doesn't click, that's why. <clears throat> this painting, very nice. Uh, I, 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 I would like to see more variation of rhythm, uh, you know, uh, in this uh, backyard fence. There's some dance and sparse. I see it could be a little more of a variation on the, uh, in the vegetation, maybe somehow. To break. It's hard to deal with this kind of line uh, without uh, um, interruptions uh, you know, for this kind of bamboo. You can have some bamboo here and there, maybe that's just just like that. I, I do like this two house, the houses, and I think it's great. Um, and the proportion looks uh, right with the figure. Mine is a little too small, but it's a dream scene. You know, he he dreamed uh, the master dreamed he was going home in in the uh, in a dream and painted the uh, the next day. So uh, the figure, you know. It feels more like in the air or something. I think that's uh, why I did it too small. Anyway, there's no excuse. Next time, if I do it, I will do more proportionate to the house. Anyway, so um, anybody else you you have submitted to work in the class? I'll I'll, I'll just write down the comments later. I'll let you go. Do you have any uh, comments, uh, uh, Barbara? Do you have any? I haven't heard your story. Can you join the the group that you're talking about, the discussion group? How do you join? 
Oh, you just go, I think you already uh, signed up for the class. You just go there uh, and then uh, click on the landscape class. Um, did, I think you already signed up, did you? If I, I think you already did. You, did. you already have an account, yeah. Just go there uh, and then, uh, should I show you how to get it again? Okay, let me do that. Um, so you, you go to the site and then you go to classes or just, uh, okay, let me show you. So this is the home page where it, the address is uh, ChinesebrushPainting.com. Right. And then you will see this home page with my picture and Victoria. And then you click on this uh, class series with the, you know, 10 class. Uh, and you will see all the previous discussions. Uh, we have a little different with each class. This class, I, I encourage people to post all their homeworks uh, together. So you will see Ping's practices, Anne's practices, um, Emily's, let me see Emily's. Emily is still here. Okay. Yeah, you'll see all their work. And uh, yeah, that's Emily's uh, Huang Chan. And what is from the other? Oh, this one. I, yeah, I like that. So yeah, that's that's a great copy of uh, Chibashi. The word uh, returning home could be a little bigger or somehow. Uh, different. Uh, could, you could leave a maybe a, a, a half word space, but you don't have to use uh, any punctuation. Sometimes we. Uh, you, usually, uh, this uh, homage goes with your signature. Uh, you know, if you put it in one single line, it will be clear. You know because if it's a title, it's it reads Hui Xiang to Ning It's like returning home to uh, pay tribute to Chi Shu. So it's like one sentence, a little bit. Uh, but I think it's okay. We we we, you know, for any educated uh, reader, they can put a period there <laughs> in their mind. You, know, you don't have to change anything. It's okay. Uh, I, I I do like. Uh, you how you overlap the fence and the rock and the trees here, you create the depths and actually four layers, right? You see the, the mountain behind, great. Yeah, that's overlapping too. And I do like the, everything you did. Beautiful, beautiful, okay. Okay. Yeah, uh, Barbara, do you know where to find it now? Just click on this this banner here. Or you can yes, go to all I classes. Understand. Okay, see, uh, all classes, uh, beginning classes, which means uh, the core classes I had. Uh, and then Zoom, Zoom class for this series. You can just click on classes and you will see everything. Okay. In sequential order. So the oldest okay. is uh, on the fourth page, okay. I got it, thank you. You're welcome. So looking forward to seeing Thank you for teaching me more about Pantian Show today. I appreciate it a lot. Oh uh, yeah, I know you you're familiar with him and the Huang Huang Bing Hong, right? The two in the uh, same city. Uh, I was uh, I, I belong to the same uh, province because my father's family is uh, originated there. So that's my ancestors' home place. Yeah. I I I have a high um, connection to the we have relatives uh, living in that place. Uh, I've, I've been there many times in my life. Um, so th th thank you for sharing your comments and story. Okay, thank you for, uh, for a wonderful class. Uh, um, I, I think you're all very talented with uh, um, what you do. And uh, uh, I do appreciate your, your individuality uh, just, just keep that just like painting through this. Uh, don't try to, you know, I, I know uh, Barbara doesn't like me to do Western painting, but uh, that's just me. Don't learn that part from me. Okay. <laughs> I just separate the personality, I feel <laughs> like. <laughs> okay. I live in two cultures. Okay, thank you.
Yeah. All right, thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye.